Wonderful. Well, good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to share my screen. And welcome to the 2023 Fathom Net Workshop. My name is Katie Croft Bell, and I'm the founder and president of the Ocean Discovery League. I'll be your MC for day one of the Fathom Net Workshop. We're so excited to see many people, um, so many people interested in FathomNet here today. We have more than 300 people registered. Um, and right before we started, we were placing bets on how many. So um, we'll actually show up. So we're really excited to see um, so much participation and so much interest in this. So a very, very warm welcome to all of you. Um, before we really dive in, I've got a few housekeeping items. First is that the workshop is being recorded um, and closed captioning has been turned on. So you can um, enable that for yourself at the in the little control bar. Um, we encourage you to turn on your video. It's nice to always see um, friendly faces and, and everyone who's interested, but please keep your microphone muted. Um, use the chat and Q&A for questions and comments. Uh, questions will be answered and curated in both of those functions, so we will keep an eye on those. And tomorrow, there will be ample time for discussion during breakout sessions. Today will be mostly uh, a one-way information um, dump to you via the um, via the live stream, but we are, we'll definitely be monitoring the, the Q&A and the chat. <clears throat> Please use the um, FathomNet agenda as a resource. The link is right there, and I will also put it in the chat. If I can open that, there we go. Um, so that includes names of all of our speakers, content that will be shared, and links to uh, collaborative content, all of the Google Docs slides, GatherTown, everything you should need is there. Um, and next, a few ground rules for participation. Uh, please choose to be present, to be present and engaged, um, hopefully from beginning to end to avoid distractions. Please turn off other devices. And if you need to attend to something else, please turn off your video so we don't distract others. Um, be respectful, inclusive, and open-minded. Uh, listen with an open mind. Assume best intentions. And um, if you disagree with someone, please be critical of the idea and not the person. Um, seek first to understand and then to be understood. So in other words, think before you speak. And uh, speakers, uh, particularly for all of us, this is a reminder to please keep to your time limit um, to be respectful of both the other speakers and also uh, um, all, all of our participants. And in the breakouts tomorrow, also keep in mind that the groups uh, may be large and time will be limited. So please stay on point um, and to ensure that everybody will have the opportunity to participate. Um, and finally, have fun. We are really, really excited about this project and to share it with you and hope that you're excited to be here too. So a little bit of background on FathomNet and how we got here today. Um, five years ago this week, actually, um, I launched the open, I know, can you believe it, Kakani? <laughs> I launched the Open Ocean Initiative at the MIT Media Lab by hosting an event called Here Be Dragons. This was in partnership with the National Geographic Society. We convened 200 explorers, innovators, artists, scientists, storytellers, um, all kinds of different people um, to discuss the uncharted territories that still exist in ocean exploration and discovery. And to identify those gaps, we hosted about 60 speakers, um, mostly from National Geographic, but also from MIT, NOAA many other partners who discussed exploration and discovery, our thriving ocean, platform sensors, big ocean data, storytelling, and ways that we can engage and empower citizen explorers. All the speakers were challenged with a two-part question. First was, what is the biggest challenge in your field that still exists, and what is your dream for solving it? So you can imagine with so many um, different people from so many different places, there were tons of different challenges and dreams presented. Uh, but the one that caught the eye of Kakani Katija was the big ocean data panel, uh, which identified a couple of challenges actually when it comes to ocean data. First is that large amounts of underwater video and imagery are really difficult to access and use. Even if you know what you're looking for and where to find it, it's still really, really hard to access. And second, that observations that are made and recorded, um, especially in real time, are biased by the level and the field of expertise of the observer. 
So one of the dream solutions to these challenges was an online platform to collect underwater video and imagery and all the associated environmental data, both from research and citizen explorers, and to provide the tools to gather annotations and to use those annotations to train machine learning algorithms. And this would allow us to build a library of trained data that anyone can use to apply their, to their underwater video, enabling scientists to make new discoveries, engineers to develop curious robots, and students and really anyone to learn more about the deep sea. So it's really thrilling to be here um, today to see so much progress having been made in the last five years. Um, now, one of our major goals coming out of this event, Here We Dragons, was to come up with concrete fundable projects that could be undertaken to start addressing the challenges that were presented and not just uh, think a bunch of great ideas and then everybody goes home and, and doesn't do anything with them. So to follow this series of talks, participants created teams and developed collaborative projects to deploy new and emerging technologies in the fields that address these gaps in our understanding. Um, and sharing of the ocean. So we called these rapid field deployments. And there were a number of criteria that had to be met. The most important of which was that they needed to move the needle on both better understanding the ocean and connecting people to it. And I guess a third one would be to have a potential impact to broaden the community to a much broader community than just the team's individual research. So the projects had to be innovative, impactful, compelling, and achievable. So in all, there were eight rapid field deployments that were selected for funding, um, one of which was one called Big Ocean, Big Data, which Kakani led, um, which was to begin the creation of an image library that would be publicly accessible for machine learning analysis of underwater images and video. Now, being from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, which has invested in video annotation for more than 30 years, really since its inception, she was uniquely positioned to lead this effort. Um, the project was originally funded by National Geographic, and then the NOAA Office of Ocean Exploration and Research augmented the initial award, and it has since been supported by numerous other funders and organizations and has grown <laughs> exponentially since that, that initial grant, which you'll, be, you'll learn about over the course of the next few days. So five years after Here Be Dragons, um, sorry, no, three and a half years after Here Be Dragons, FathomNet publicly launched in September of 2021 and now includes tens of thousands, if not more, um, annotated images, not only from Mbari, but also several other partners, including National Geographic, NOAA, many others, and hopefully yours soon as well. So the team has grown and evolved, and I want to acknowledge the incredible work that the FathomNet team has done, most notably from Mbari, Sea Vision AI, NOAA, uh, Smithsonian, and many others who have been dedicated to the FathomNet effort from the start, as well as all those newer members of the team um, who are representing the enthusiast communities, education, um, so many different applications um, will, are going to be made with, with this effort. So you'll hear from many of these presenters in plenary today, as well as in the breakout sessions tomorrow. So here we are now, five years after the project was initially conceived. And um, while it is launched and it is public, we do want to stress that FathomNet is in its sort of beta phase right now. It's not a final product, although we're getting there. And that is, in fact, why we're here today and focusing on community engagement, because we really want to hear your feedback on all the work we've done to date and how we can and should be moving forward in the future. So over the course of the next two days, we'll be focusing on three main objectives. First is to share the vision, goals, and current status of FathomNet with you, including updates since that beta launch in 2021. Second is to build community around this important resource for oceanography and exploration. And third is to provide an avenue for gathering feedback on FathomNet so that we can work to improve it and to make sure that it is more useful for you and your work. So today you'll have a lot of information thrown at you. We have six presentations about various aspects of FathomNet, and I'm going to put, or maybe could kind of put the agenda in again for those who have joined in the last 10 minutes. Um, so we've got the agenda, which you have access to throughout the day. You have access to notes and slides and, and all the other content. 
Tomorrow we'll be more focused on breakouts, um, both to dig deeper into some of these topics, depending on um, if you're a marine researcher or a programmer or an enthusiast, and also to provide time for you to talk about your hopes and dreams um, and wishes for FathomNet.